Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to our crazy farming simulator series. I know what it was. It was this one here, which is not from uh, this series. I was looking at this one. You got fertilizer and herbicide right there, and you got milk and water right there, which you can have for those too. So the tanker that we have got is here under slurry tankers and it is this one down if i gone whizzing past it i may have already gone past oh no there that one that's the one that we've got and that should take digestate as well right there one owned okay so where's the digestate output should be there that should be it i should just be able to load Is it in the wrong place for it? Okay. It might be because I'm the wrong side. It might need to be in a bit tighter to this to make it work. Let's go over here. All right. Well, it's working now. And we'll tip that out in the morning. I can't be bothered to wait for it now. So let's skip a night. We have a brand new day. We got 6,600 in loan interest, another four grand in vehicle leasing costs. We will jump in here. We are very nearly almost done with the digestate loading and we're done. We will pull that one on around over here and we will tip that out. So this one should convert that straight into Right, why is that not... That should come up with a thing to say you can tip here. And that should allow me to turn digestate into solid fertilizer right there. So digestate is not accepted here. Right, well, it should be accepted here. I just need to be in the right location for the tipping of. I think I need to bring it round here so I can get in a bit tighter on that side. Because it should come up with a thing to say tip. But it's not doing that. You better accept digest eight because... That's the whole point of this exercise, is that you need to accept the digestate. Right, you know what, I'm going to just gonna unhitch that one a second. I think we've got, there's a little bit of a mystery going on here. It might be because i got two trailers. I very much, it is because i got two trailers. Now it works. So for whatever reason, it doesn't like having a second trailer on that one just for doing that bit. I don't know why, but it doesn't. Now we will go and have a look at our cows. We've got the extra animals in here now. We have got 118,000 litres of slurry. There is 19,000 litres of milk. Uh, it's 17,000 litres of manure in there. So it's not quite a trailer full of manure. I'm not going to worry about that. The milk over here. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about that. We'll deliver that tomorrow when we've got a bit more. Uh, food we don't need to worry about. Uh, that means that this one over here, we can just park that one up. That's done with for now. Uh, I will go into here. Solid fertilizer. Let's activate that one. So that was now running. And we'll have solid fertilizer there that we will be at there. Right, so we've got 60 of it. So then if we go and have a look in here, we've got solid fertilizer right there. Maximum price, Valley Spring Mart is 1,600 for solid foot. Actually, actually, a solid fertilizer right here. Slurry buying lagoon. Right, so we've actually got, this, this map has actually got a number of different places that we can go and sell fertilizer. I'm genuinely surprised at that. I didn't realize that that would be a thing. It's quite rare on maps, like, well, I don't know how rare exactly, but I do know there's quite a few maps that you, you can't go and sell your fertilizer. Right? There's always a little bit of a, a, a jolly nuisance, but this one seems to have got a whole load of locations where we can go and do it, which is really cool. I like this idea. I need to plant grass. 
and I need to plant crops. Now, I want to plant a lot of crops. So I've got a lot of crops in mind, and I want to do a lot of planting. So we've got a field there that we want to plant. We've got a field there that we want to plant. We've got a field there that we want to plant. We've got a whole load of grass that we want to plant up this side. This side over here, that's going to be one. And then I've got several more little fields that we're also going to want to plant. So in order to be able to do this, like one of the things that our big wide machines has got an issue with in the last map we had these big wide ditches between each field so if we overlapped into another field it didn't matter these it's a lot more difficult we got much narrower gaps so we've got to be careful how we do this now to start with we're gonna potentially like I, there is one planter that i'm going to use for doing the grass over here and i think that one doesn't do direct drilling which is really cool uh, and come out of there. I want to go into here. And this is one that we've used previously. It is a cat machine. It's one that we cannot go using the hired help with. The hired help doesn't work. But we can plant everything with this one. Provided it's ploughed up first. Now the only issue that we've got with this. So the, 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 I'm going to leave it on the standard working speed right there. Uh, we'll go with... Uh, pink on the main we will go with yellow on that bit and we'll go with purple on the wheels that looks wonderfully garish we'll have lights decals reflectors yeah all right that can all stay there like that so this one huh oh right basically i haven't changed anything on this machine except for the price i did actually change the price to reflect what i thought it should have been um but you can see that the basic machine costs 1250 so i put a load of paint on it but it's 1250 so i think i put the overall price of this machine at something like uh, 50 grand so it's not a huge amount so we're going to buy this one there like that and then i'm going to go out of here and i'm going to press f12 right here and i'm going to remove another forty-five thousand to uh, just even that up uh, press enter there we go right so there's the cost of our new machine uh, we've just paid for the new machine and i'm going to run up and get that one we've got some grass that we want to plant and so we'll start off by planting some grass with that machine and then we will worry about uh, starting to plant the other crops that we want we've got a lot of crops that we want to plant today so what i'm also going to do while we run up through so i'm going to slow the time scale down to one time speed because i want to plant most of my fields today now the width of this machine it is very very wide and I don't want to be accidentally getting the wrong fields with the crop that I'm about to go and plant. So on top of um, doing the planting with this one, I'm going to get another machine and we'll do that. But this is the other machine I get isn't going to be a cat one. It's going to just be a standard one. So we've got eight and a half thousand liters here. I want to get some big bags right here we'll go with seed there so we've got eight and a half thousand so i will go with eight of these bye i will eventually change this around so that we're not doing it with these like this let's load you up and while that's loading i can change to grass to start with oat sugarcane sunflowers see it's got sugarcane available on there but the sugarcane doesn't show up on the map so i suspect that will be a bit like when we first tried to plant um sunflowers on the uh Heldland map and we it just didn't work so I, I reckon it's probably gonna end up like that but let me load this one up and then we can start planting our grass we're going to get started on planting this grass. I have taken a bit of a break, so I'm back doing some new recording. And I have updated a couple of things on here. So we're just going to get started with this. That is a very weird grass planted texture. I'm not quite sure why the grass planted texture shows like that. That's just... What's going on here? Is that... 
bugged or is that how it's supposed to be? I'm not actually sure. I'm thinking that that's possibly how it's supposed to look with the grass, just to identify it as grass, but it's still very peculiar. So I'm going to run down next to the hedgerows like this all the way around. We've got a bit underneath the tree right there, which does look a little bit odd. But that's absolutely fine. And it's this bit right here that I do want to be a little bit careful with. I don't want to accidentally plant over on the... Op Ooh, I already have. I just did a little bit there across the other side of the track. But I have a direct drill that I want to use for over there that I've made a couple of tiny alterations to. So I'm hoping that even if I do plant a bit of grass there, the direct drill will be able to take care of it and it will be nothing that we need to worry about. Um, this texture that we've got for the grass here, though, is very very peculiar I've not seen anything like this before I'm not really sure what to make this in fact you know what I'm gonna just leave that a second actually I'm gonna use this tractor because I whilst this other tractor that we've got is good and I like it I don't really want it for doing the drilling that I've got sorted out and he's turned the wrong way because I just came back to recording so didn't really like what I already had there uh, I'll just put that one going there like that so we're in March which means that there's a few crops that we are gonna want to plant and there's a few that we won't want to plant so it's you that I'm gonna want to do the drilling with which means wherever I go with this one it and you put it down on the ground it will automatically drill which we're not going to necessarily want it to do so this field right here let's have a look where we are we've got those three down there that are ready to plant those are going to be arable and then we've got this this is kind of all one section now i've got a couple little bits that are left there that just need to be done and i'm going to take out that hedgerow right there so that it's on the correct side of the track and we'll also do that bit for the grass and we'll do something there. So we're going to pop over there and going to do that first. You are finished right here. Let's just check and make sure that's all okay. So there's one little tiny spot right there that I want to make sure that I get. Soil composition. Now the soil composition is not going to tell us anything. So uh, I want to go up to that bit and I'll get that one. This tractor is slow though, isn't it? I mean, it's... it's great that we've got this older tractor but honestly I don't really want this one for uh, very much longer it's it's just going to take too long to do anything with and um, quite frankly we've got places to go and people to see right it's here somewhere let's just drop this one down here it's it's somewhere around this bit so if I just do a run up through there kind of where the lines are finishing hopefully that will be it let's have a look yep it's all gone right so that's that bit all done this field now is finished which means that we can plant this field so if we take a quick look in here now we should be able to um yeah I do want to go back and do that bit so we're gonna have to plow those bits out uh but it was here that I wanted to have a look this is the order that we've got things, so if I was going to do a specific crop rotation, I'd use that, but I don't think I will. Like, I, I'm not sure that I want to go doing that, but we want wheat, barley, canola, and oat. Now, I don't think that we're going to worry about oats this year. Um, probably wouldn't hurt to get some potatoes in the ground, and sugar beet we won't worry about. The, the sugar, we'll leave that until next year, so... Wheat and barley, I think, are the important ones, and also some canola so that we can get some oil. And, oh, wait, no, we also, we want to get the mineral feed stuff, don't we? So we are going to want sugar beet. Right, so we will plant sugar beet. We're going to want sunflowers. We've got a lot of things that we need. Right, in which case, let's go back into here. Sunflowers are next month, so we don't need to worry about them. I think corn was another one. I can't remember what it was now. No, there's no corn. Beans, sunflowers, and canola. The three oil plants. Right. I can remember that. The three oil plants. That would be canola, sunflowers, and beans. So the sunflowers and beans next month. 
We will need to plant sugar beet. Uh, we're also going to want to do some potatoes. And I want some wheat and barley and canola. So there's five, six, seven different crops that we're going to want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Yes, uh, we're not planting oats and we're not planting corn. Is the only ones that we're not doing. So we need to kind of like spread these out a bit. Uh, hmm. This it, we're just going to leave this as the grass this year. We're not going to worry about any more of that. And I'm also going to just go back here and double check that grass... Okay, that is planting grass. So we, we are at least getting grass planted there. And now we've got grass on there. It's showing it all ready for harvest, which is why it gets a little bit of a jolly nuisance on the map. So we've got three fields up here. I think that we will do... This long one here, we'll do this one with potatoes. I want to do this one. Well, we did. We had wheat out of this field, didn't we? So we'll do this one with um, beans. We'll do beans in here. And I'm going to forget everything and possibly sunflowers down there. This one up here. I'm going to do this one. That's not going to be... I'm thinking like sugar beet. We'll, probably, we'll do 84 of sugar. One of these will be sugar beet. This one here... I think we should put wheat into this one. We'll do wheat into this field right here. So let's just take this tractor here and I'll run on down because I'm going to have to do a little bit of extra plowing just on the edge of the... Like, we've got these two hedgerows that we're going to need to move out of the way. Um, I'm just going to come down over here like this. There's that hedge and then that hedge over there. Those got to be just moved. So if I bring you down and then we can uh, plow those bits out. But we won't worry about that for a second. And go back up to this one. And let's go and get the seed drill that I want to use for planting in here. So there's wheat in this big field up here. That's, that's the one thing that we're going to do. Right. There's other things that I want to be bringing up as well. Um, you know the tanker that we've been using? I have now updated. I've got a new version of that one that will be ready to go. It's, it, we're not going to do that at the moment. We'll do that when we next need the tanker. Um, at the moment, though, I was looking at all these various different sea drills that I've got and different ones that I've tried all, you know, at different points and sort of thought, you know, some of these are pretty cool. Some of them... Uh, not so sure about like we've got these right here and I did take a look at these ones um, but quite frankly they're a little bit more complicated for making adjustments on so I decided against that and I've got this cat one right here and then I got a few cat ones here and I did this one this is one that I've used a few times and I really like it but it's like really narrow, like it's, it's kind of like a starting off point. Um, it's now 320,000 euros because I have doubled the capacity of it. I've doubled the speed of it and then uh, the width of it is considerably bigger. So we're going to put this all the way up to 45 kilometers an hour. I've added in some extra colors so we don't just have reds on this one. This is going to be a yellow and black design i think although the the white on there it does kind of it's a bit jarring isn't it i think it's actually needs to be the other way around we want that and then we want the design as the oh that's better that's that's better i don't like the white i can't do anything about that though so we're going to go with this and i'm just going to lease this one because obviously i can't go and buy it i don't have the kind of money um also, that sea drill right there is now 10,000 litres. That is actually split up into 4,000 fertiliser and 6,000 seed. So I'm going to buy that amount. I'm going to buy a solid fertiliser. We're going to go with the Helm Pro fertiliser. I'll buy that one. Uh, 4,000 fertiliser, I think it was. So we'll go with 4,000 of those. And 6,000 of these, like that, buy, okay. So there is 10,000 litres of goodies in there. Now this machine, it is prudent to drive with this one going uh, clockwise around the field. That is the prudent way to do this. So I'm just going to fill this one up. We've got the fertilizer right here. This will take me a second or two. 
6,000 litres of wheat and 4,000 litres of fertiliser. So we're going to bring this bad boy over here. Now this is a direct drill. So in theory, actually I'm going to take it down this way. The little bits of grass that I accidentally went over too far with on this one should be able to be removed by doing this. So I'm going to bring you right down over here like this. Bring you up there like that. You're going to need to reverse down into the corner like this. And start you up and then lower you down. And you can see it goes all the way over there. And it's actually, it's a little tiny bit wider than the tractor itself. And this appears to be some kind of texture for this map for a freshly drilled field. Whether it's because the things also roll it or whether this is actually a visual bug, I'm not sure. I honestly, I don't know if I like it. And that's how wide this one goes out like that. Like, it, it, it's not very wide at all. And that's what I like. I did this quite deliberately. And yes, on the outside edge, it could be a bit of a jolly nuisance at times. But I think it's definitely worth just having that slight inconvenience. So it's a little tiny bit wider than the tractor. Um, it's basically the width that it would be if this was a 4 meter machine. So I moved it a, a fraction because it's a 3 meter wide machine. So you can see right there, it didn't quite get over into that corner. Now I don't need it to be over in that corner because most of the stuff that we're going to be doing harvesting with isn't going to reach that far anyway, but yeah, I, I do like to just make sure we get all of it like that. So I bring you on around over here, but what this means is I basically just use the tractor to do the edge of the field, and then the inside of the field is a lot further over. Um, that is 15 meters. I've set that to 15 meters, and this side of the tractor is two meters so the tractor is generally you work on that being three meters wide um so that's what this one is so i've set it to four to well basically it's two meters from the center point of the tractor out onto the left hand side and then it's 15 meters out the other way so if we were using right here a tractor that was a, a machine that was 30 meters wide that's where it would come out to on each side but it's not 30 meters wide it's actually 17 meters wide and some of those meters are like well most of it is out on the right hand side of the tractor now i did this so that the outside edges would be easy to do we've got a 45 kilometer speed on the machine it does sort of and turn a little bit. The only thing that you've got to remember is that it doesn't go out on the left hand side of the tractor at all. So when we're doing our work we have to keep that in mind and it's easy to forget sometimes when, well it is for me, when I'm doing these kinds of jobs because I'm so used to machines that stick out a long way on both sides so doing it like this is a little bit more tricky but this seems like a really good compromise to me for being able to keep in a whole load of hedgerows because the problem with the typical machines that i like to use that i've been making for this series in the last well the last series in particular was sticking out a really long way on both sides and that works really well and is great fun and everything and and it, it does an amazing job but when we've got all these tight hedgerows like we've got in this series, it doesn't work quite so well with keeping everything within the field. It's very, very easy to uh, miscalculate where you're driving and then accidentally plant the next field. And we had the same issue in the last one with the super wide combine that we were using. So I'm hoping, like, I'll probably do a few more machines like this. Because, yes, I will eventually be removing more hedgerows and 
um, we will slowly be enlarging all of the fields, but I don't want to remove all of the hedgerows. I actually really like the idea of having to work around some of these hedgerows and adapting the gameplay and the style of the machines that we use in order to be able to fit in with it. I just think it sort of adds to this challenge a little bit. Plus, I think it looks really cool having hedges everywhere. I really like them, so that's kind of what I want to do. So this is the this field here is going to be wheat. We won't have masses of sugar beet. I haven't altered the crops that this one can do, so I'm going to need a planter for some of it. Now, I don't remember if my other one that I've got over there that I've just parked up was doing the grass with. don't actually remember if that one um, had all crops or not. Doesn't really matter at this point. There are some Stevie ones that do do every crop, so I might end up like adapting one of those ever so slightly so that I don't have to bother with rewriting all the code. So thank you very much, Stevie, for all doing all of the hard work for me. And all I gotta do is just tweak the um, gaps on them. There is a possibility that I'm getting this strange texture because the game, well, the game is due an update, but I, I can't imagine that any of the mods that I've got are causing me to need the update. Um, the game is due an update and uh, we will very uh, to prepare for the expansion and the expansion is on its way as well. So we will soon have that one. Um, I'm just not quite sure when it's going to get here. Right, what I'm going to do here, before I go and carry on with this bit, I'm going to go back over to this one. Right, I want to remove that hedgerow down through there, plus those trees, and then I also want to remove that hedgerow so that we can use this grass here. I won't be removing that bit, because this will just sort of stay. This fence here and gateway, that will all stay. But the hedgerow will be removed and then we'll plow up this little bit that's in the middle of it. So that we can make use of these like extra little bits. I mean, yes, I could actually just leave that bit as kind of like a, a, a nature reserve piece. And I could do the same here. Let's do that, actually. I'm just going to chop down one of the trees there, but... I'm going to do that. You know, I'm, I'm just going to paint this over a bit with some other bits. So we will get rid of the field, so we won't have, like, a needs plowing bit or anything like that. But, yeah, I, I kind of like this idea. And, well, the grass can just stay there as it is, I guess. So let me go into here, and I'll do something with this a sec. I have turned it into just kind of like a little bit of a, a, a nature-y kind of bit here in the corner there, and the same over on this side. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.